So we'll come into a kneeling position to start. So if you'd like to have a block underneath you or a blanket in between your hips and heels or whatever sets you up, and you can always come into cross-legged or Baddha Konasana, whichever works for you, Sukhasana or Baddha Konasana, or come into a kneel. And you're gonna feel your sit bones underneath you by rocking side to side. And notice if you're pressing your rib cage forward, bring it back. So sometimes it feels like you're leaning back, but you're really not, you're straight. And just gotta take it easy. Bring the hands in front of the heart, rub them back and forth, gazing down at your palms or allowing the eyes to close. Breathing in deeply, exhaling completely. Feeling the warmth grow between the palms. And this warmth is, is an extension of you. It's not more powerful than you. It is you. And then with an inhale, place the palms over the eyes. Exhaling with a sigh, drawing the heels of the hands down to the chin and to the heart, resting the thumbs on the sternum. Welcoming a silent intention for your practice. Tonight's group intention is by connecting to my breath, I am connected to my inner knowing that I am wise. By connecting to my breath, I am connected to my inner knowing that I am wise. By connecting to my breath, I am connected to my inner knowing that I am wise. And we'll seal this intention in and open up the physical practice with a round of three ohms. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And then inhale. Lowering the hands onto your lap, drawing the chin to the heart, and slowly blinking the eyes open, lifting the gaze. Returning back to the connection of the pelvic floor and rooting our energy downwards, bringing the hands underneath the sit bones one at a time, rocking back and forth on the sit bones. And feeling them root down. Connecting the breath to the pelvic floor, maybe even bringing the hands around the waist, just to remind yourself to engage the abdomen and also to release the abdomen. So the belly will move as you breathe in and breathe out. So coming into our breaths, as you inhale, the belly softens, the pelvic floor softens and widens and relaxes. And then exhale, sit bones draw together, inwards and upwards towards the navel, and the navel towards the heart, so the abdomen draw in and up. And then the inhale slowly opens, widens, softens, expands. 
Exhale, pubis bones and tailbone draw inwards and upwards. So you're feeling a pull from the front to the back, drawing in and up. Glutes stay soft, navel to the heart. Inhale, slowly releasing with control and awareness, letting go completely. And imagine you're over a silk handkerchief and this open and wide below you. As you exhale, pick up the silk handkerchief from the middle of the square, drawing it inwards and upwards towards your heart. And then with your inhale, feel it floating and see it floating down as you let go of it completely and see it lower onto the earth. The exhale, picking up the handkerchief, drawing it up towards the heart. And then the inhale, lowering it and seeing it float back down towards the earth and seeing it float open and expand completely. A couple more times, exhaling, drawing inwards and upwards, inhaling, slowly releasing and letting go completely. Exhale, drawing in and up. Inhale, letting go and releasing completely. And rolling the shoulders back behind you, letting the arms be like a noodle. And letting them go. And just rocking your head from side to side. One ear to one shoulder to center and other ear to other shoulder and to center. And feeling the length in the neck as you take great care as you move from side to side. Finishing the set that you're on, so you're pretty even. Crown of the head back to the sky. Come up off of the heels and come into a kneeling position. And if you're seated, um, you might wanna roll over into a kneeling position too. And from here, we're gonna move, have a focused gaze in front of you, something that you could just stare at and focus because we're gonna be working some neuron connections in the brain and the body. So one arm is gonna go forward while the other arm goes backwards. And so if you do the work from the shoulder blades, the arms just go for a ride and they're like a windmill, but they're moving in opposite directions. And a few more times in the direction that you're doing, and just know that this takes practice a lot of times. And then one day it's like riding your bike, you'll never forget it. And then move in the opposite direction. So keep your gaze focused. Sometimes smiles help. And be gentle on yourself if you're having a frustrated time. It's okay. That's how growth happens in times of uncomfortableness. Couple more circles in this direction, feeling the circulation happening, and then reach up to the sky, little baby back bend, opening the heart, and sweeping the hands around to your sides, coming into table pose. So you can scooch any props off of your mat now. And coming into table, tuck the back toes under and sit back towards the heels opening up the soles of the feet, breathing into that space, perhaps breathing in and out through the nose or in through the nose, out through the lips, and having a purposeful breath, breathing in deeply, exhaling completely.
and then walking the hips off of the heels, shaking the feet out, lowering them back to the earth. Flip your palms towards the back of the room or to the back of your mat, towards your knees. And you can always have your palms, your fingers more towards the sides of the mat. So your choice, it just depends on how your forearms are feeling. So we're gonna do a little bit of a stretching of the forearms. So this is great if you happen to be um, someone who is at a computer all day or from a good majority of the day or picking things up or doing things, which is most humans. So this is an, a stretch that's needed. And you're just gonna rock from side to side. And just notice how your body weight shifts from side to side, the sensations that arise. And then you can begin to make little circles. And so the torso is making the circles and you're gonna feel sensations in different places in the forearms, maybe even in the palms of your hands and into your fingers. And just going at the pace of your breath. And then begin to move in the opposite direction. Breathing deeply, completely. And about one more circle in this direction. And coming back into stillness. And then tucking the toes under, lifting the hands off of the floor, coming back into the kneeling position, just curling and folding the fingers and hands and moving in the opposite direction. And just shaking it out, letting it go. Nice. Return back to tabled pose. Scooch the right, um, blah. scooch the left foot in, no, scooch the right knee in towards the left a little bit and extend the left leg back behind you. Tuck the toes under, press out through the left heel. So you're gonna feel a stretch in the left calf area perhaps, and you're pressing the left hamstring up to the sky. Right hip draws up, left hip draws down. So everything is facing the earth instead of being open. Glide the left foot over towards the left, the right side of the mat, gazing over your right shoulder. Press into the left ball, the big toe, and keep pressing the heel away. Full deep breaths, breathing into the left side of the body. So the space between the left rib cage and the left hip. And then glide the leg back to the mat. Press the sole of the foot up to the sky, bending the knee. Give three pulses of the heel up to the sky. Two, three, and then extend the leg out behind you. You can keep the toes off the floor or lower the toes back onto the floor. Pelvic floor is drawing in and up. So they're really strong abs, full deep breaths. You got it. And then lowering the foot back to the earth and gliding the foot all the way over to the long edge of the mat. So once again, moving any props out of your way. So left foot is in the same line as the right knee and walking or keeping the hands right where you are in table pose, sweeping the left arm up to the sky and then sweeping it underneath the right arm. Big twists like your fingertips are paint brushes and you're painting a giant rainbow all around you. Breathing in as you unwind, exhaling and rounding. Last time. And then planting the hand back on the earth. Now walking the hands towards the, front, the right leg and coming up into gate pose. From here, keep hugging the left foot and the right knee towards one another. So there's this energy of hugging in. If you get a cramp in your left hip area, know that that's normal. Just walk it out. You'll just bring it in and stretch it out. 
Left fingers glide down the left leg, sweep the right arm up and over. Big side stretch. Move in the opposite direction, right hand comes down, left fingertips come over the opposite direction. Exhale, pelvic floor in, navel to the heart, sweeping up and over. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, pelvic floor in, navel to the heart. And then when you get there, that's the inhale. And then the exhale starts, then the body moves. The inhale, you find some stillness and space. And then the exhale moves. And so the next time the right arm is on the floor, stay there. Gaze down at your right hand or maybe up at your inner elbow. Keep pressing out through the right foot. Lift the right foot off the floor. Big stretch here, big balance. Keep pressing the left fingers away from you. Press the left heel away. The heel's not very high at all. And then lowering the foot to the mat, rounding forward through a table, lowering the left knee back to the mat. Swish the hips from side to side and coming on to the other side. So scooching the left foot, left leg in towards the right. Step the right foot back behind you. Press out through the right heel. Full deep breaths. Glide the right leg over towards the left side of the mat. Press out through the right heel. Root into the ball of the right big toe. Breathing into the right side of the body. And then gliding the leg back, squaring the hips and shoulders to the earth. Press down into the left shin to use that as leverage. You can lift the left leg off the floor, press the sole of the foot up to the sky. Three pulses, pulse, pulse, pulse. Extend the leg out behind you. Track the right hip down a little bit, left hip up so the hips are more square. Full deep breaths, pelvic floor is in and up, navel to the heart. So, you can have this engagement happening as you breathe multiple breaths in. So there's this lifting in and up so you're fully supported. And then lowering the toes if they're lifted, pressing back, and then gliding the leg all the way over to the right side. So the right knee, right foot, left knee are on the same line. Energetically pull the foot and knee together. Left hand plants below the left shoulder. Sweep the right arm up to the sky. Big inhale. Exhale, we'll sweep and paint. Use the fingertips like paintbrush and round and twist. Inhale, we'll open. And the exhale, twist. Inhale, we'll open. And exhaling, twist. Last time, big inhale in. Exhale, twist. And planting the hand back to the earth. Walking the hands towards the left leg, coming up into gate pose. Hug the right foot, left knee in towards one another. Right fingertips down the right leg. Sweep the left arm up and over. In breath. And then your ex breath, exhale breath. Reaching in the opposite direction. This is the big movement on the exhale. Inhale, we'll find expansiveness and space. Exhale, pelvic floor and navel to the heart. Strong and stable. This is big movement. Exhaling, allowing the core to support you. Inhale, expand. Exhale one more time in this direction. And then the in, or the next exhale, folding over the opposite direction. Left hand plants, inhale, take up space. Exhale, press out into the right foot. Reach the right fingertips away from you. Full deep breaths, big balance. Feel the core working so you're drawing inwards and upwards rather than pushing out. Everything's drawing in. It's not a suck in. It's coming from the pelvic floor up. That's it. You got it. And then lowering the foot if it's lifted, sweeping the hands in front, 
Walking back to the mat, lowering the right knee onto the floor, swishing the hips from side to side. Walk the knees over towards the one side of the mat, roll onto that hip, and sweep the legs out in front of you. We're gonna prepare for lying on the back. So find the middle of the mat with your sit bones. And from there, slowly lower onto your forearms and letting the back of the head rest onto the earth. Draw the knees in towards the heart, giving yourself a big hug, maybe rock and roll. Press the soles of the feet up to the sky. Use your hands around the hamstrings. Press your hands into your, head, to your legs, legs into your hands. And you can have a generous bend in your knees too. They don't need to be straight. Feel the width of the sacrum below you. And then bend the knees and plant the feet on the floor, knees to the sky. From here, long pencil stretch, one leg at a time. Sweep the arms up and over, big inhale in. Let it go. And then very mindfully, make your way into your Shavasana, into your restful pose for Yoga Nidra. So maybe you lay right where you are. Maybe you place a pillow or a blanket underneath your shoulders. Maybe you move into a seated position. Go ahead and adjust yourself to be fully supported. So as you settle in, I'm going to stay seated so that I can read the script and stay in the teacher's seat, even though I would love to be participating <laughs> with you. But I really enjoy holding the space. It is time for Yoga Nidra. Settle into a comfortable position, lying on the floor or seated against a wall. Scan your body to any area fit from extra support, like the back of the head, neck area, low back, behind the knees. Use blankets and bolsters to ensure you will be comfortable for the entire practice. Maybe wrap yourself in a blanket like a, like a cocoon. And even place an eye pillow over your eyes to set the mood of relaxation. All that matters right now is you practicing yoga nidra. You are welcoming deep relaxation. You have full freedom to move around if you become uncomfortable for any reason, shift and move. Your comfort is priority. Shift and make changes as needed throughout the practice. Allow your eyes to become heavy and eventually close. Yoga Nidra is a practice of the in-between state of wakefulness and sleep and over time will become more familiar to help cultivate greater relaxation. Your awareness will be guided to physical sensations, emotions, and images. Do your best to not overthink or concentrate too intensely as this may prevent you from relaxing. Allow anything to pop up and accept your experience. You can't mess it up. Absorb and participate in what opens up to you and allow anything extra to melt away. If your mind begins to overthink or drift on other things, simply come back 
to the sound of my voice. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Take another deep breath in and let it go. One last time, take a deep breath in and let it go. Feel your body sinking into the props in the floor beneath you. Allow the breath to be natural. To enhance your yoga nidra practice and experience, you're invited to set a sankalpa. This is a personal resolve that will transfer to your everyday life off the mat. Dig deep. What is your heart longing for? Remember whatever opens to you is what is meant right now. Trust your heart's desire. One example of a sankalpa would be, I am confident in my decision making. Once you have your resolution, repeat it three times mentally now. Allow the breath to remain natural. Tell yourself, I am awake and relaxed. You will now go through a whole body scan to relax muscular tension. Your awareness will now be guided to various body parts when named. Silently repeat the body part after you hear it named and feel that body part without moving it. Top of the head, back of the head, right earlobe, right temple, forehead, left temple, left earlobe, both eyebrows, space between eyebrows, both eye sockets, space between the upper eyelids, and lower eyelids as they are closed. Both nostrils, upper lip, lower lip, space between the upper and lower lips together. Chin, jaw, throat, back of the neck, the whole face, the whole head, the whole head, right collarbone, left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, pelvic floor, right buttock, left buttock, the low back, mid back, upper back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, the whole torso, the whole torso, now focusing on the right side, right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, 
the whole right arm, ribs, hip, thigh, knee, shin, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, baby toe, sole of the foot, heel, ankle, calf, back of the knee, hamstrings, the whole right leg. Now focusing on their left side, left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, the whole left arm, ribs, hip, thigh, knee, shin, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, baby toe, sole of the foot, heel, ankle, calf, back of the knee, hamstrings, the whole left leg, the whole face, the whole head, the whole torso, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Notice how the breath moves in and out automatically. No conscious effort need be made. It happens smoothly. Perhaps the breath is rather shallow and calm since you've started this nidra. Now, increase your focus on the breath as if your torso we're a pitcher of water, and the breath fills up the torso as it enters the nostrils into the lower belly, under the ribs, all the way up to the collarbones. Then on the exhale, the breath empties out like a pitcher of water from the top of the collarbones, the bottom of the ribcage area, the lower belly, and finally, the pelvic floor draws in ever so slightly. Keep filling up the torso with your breath, then emptying the breath completely out. Begin to send your breath beyond the torso with each inhale. Feel your breath travel through the limbs and skull. Notice how your breath can travel anywhere in your body. Feel the pulsation 
of the inhale expansion and the exhale release. And then with your next inhale, take a deep breath in and let it go with a sigh. Letting the breath return to a peaceful, natural state where no conscious effort need be made. Recall the feeling of a stressful situation. Please do not focus on the source. Focus on the feeling that stress produces. Notice how you can have a direct experience of stress while not actually experiencing stress. Being passively aware of experiencing stress, notice where the feelings happen in your body. Seeing how stress shows up physically Observe any sensations arising like tightness or tension, heat or anything else, and allowing yourself to passively feel stress. Now, shift your attention to a peaceful experience. Maybe it's coming to yoga class or walking in nature, or talking to someone you care about, or something else. Notice how the breath, the mind, and body all soften as calm envelops you. Observe what a peaceful experience feels like in the breath, in the mind and body. See how calm shows up for you. You are calm and fully able to rest. Travel your attention inward. Go inward even more. Begin to explore the feeling of your inner self. Sense this place inside of you. This is where your inner knowings reside and are accessible any time to you. Explore this place by being honest and receptive to receive what will serve your highest good. Continue being present with what you're experiencing. Notice whatever it is you're experiencing. Maybe it's a deeper feeling of satisfaction, inner peace, or happiness. Maybe it's acknowledging the truth you've always known. If it's helpful, invite a feeling of deep satisfaction into your being. For you know what truth feels like and the calm it creates when truth is honored. Rest in this place of unshakable peace and tranquility 
of wholeness, connection, and completeness. Let go of all ideas and labels that may have been made. Let them dissolve away so that you may continue to rest within yourself in a space of awareness, allowing your true self to step forward. It is time to remember your Sankalpa. As you mentally repeat your Sankalpa three times, envision it like a seed, planting deep within the essence of who you are to serve you at your highest good. Bring greater attention to your body lying on the floor. Noticing how this sacred time allowed you to soften and rest into yourself. Begin to graze the thumbs over the finger pads, wiggling the toes, rotating the wrists and ankles, allowing the breath to deepen, stretching out in any kind of way that may feel comfortable in this moment. And then rolling on to one side, pausing in the fetal position, the symbol of rebirth. No matter how your time was on the mat, you have a new beginning, a new sense of self and awareness that's growing. And it takes time and patience. And you've done so great by participating today keeping the gaze heavy towards the earth or the eyes closed with the strength of your hands and arms pressing down to come up to a seat. 
And when you make your way into a seat, you can cross your legs or bring the soles of the feet together. Sitting up tall, palms pressed together in front of the heart, thumbs resting on the sternum. Giving much gratitude for yourself, for showing up, for being open to explore, to explore the inner space of you and connecting beyond your physical body, beyond your breath, beyond your thoughts, but to the essence of who you are. Consider one more thing that you're grateful for. When you have that idea, connect it into the heart center, wrapping it with love. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this practice. I look forward to meeting you again. Satnam. And the practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete.